Do you ever get confused about how to make your home look great? Well, today I have this wonderful stager, Sherry Sake. She just staged our house that is getting ready to go on the market. It's one of our flip houses. And I'm Holly McCann, realtor. Sherry is gonna walk us through room by room some of the design principles and things she did to make this house look phenomenal. We just can't wait to get on the market. So. Welcome, awesome. Sherry. Awesome, thank you, yeah. So we're gonna go through all the rooms in the house, so make sure you stick around till the end. We're gonna go through the living room, the dining area, the kitchen, the bedroom, and the bathroom. So make sure you watch through to the end to get all the great tips. So let's start with the living room. So tell us about what you did and why here. Okay, well the first overall large tip is to go with the bones of the house. You've got to enhance what you're given. Mm -hmm. First of all, do the best you can with it and then spread the color or not color. Keep it even around the house, equally um, divided. So every room has a little bit of the same color. So in here, we wanted to keep a really nice bright white background and we wanted to keep the base neutral. So we just pretty much matched the floor with the rug did fine pops of color, the pillow, the art, the coffee table, the lamp, just a little bit of black. And the strong contrast would be the second big tip, mm -hmm. keeping the contrast very strong so you get a pop okay. in every room. Yeah. So here we are in the dining area. I noticed, Sherry, that you did benches instead of chairs all the way around. So what made you do that? Well, it's all about simplicity. We mm -hmm. wanna keep this looking very simple, not really busy. So you've got the whole outdoors with this beautiful picture window. You take that all in and you wanna keep it calm. That adds a lot of calm to the surrounding. Okay. And over here, we already have three benches. So we have to have two end chairs. So the two benches really, really calm it down nice. and simplify. We added a lot of texture with the dining room table, keeping yes. it the same, but the texture adds a lot of oomph and more texture in the accessories. Yeah, so the interest is more in the texture of the table rather than a whole lot of ornate chairs or other things. So your eyes drawn to the table. Exactly. Sure. And I'm loving this tablescape here that you did. And it looks like you do a really great job with the scale. It's kind of big, but it also works with the big table. Huh? Exactly. Well, your space is very open. The ceiling's pitched in here, and this is a very big space. So besides the table, it's the whole area also that we went a little bigger. Expanded. I see a lot of beads in design. That's kind of a hot thing now. It we're is. in 2023. They're still in style, huh? Yeah, beads are everywhere. These are, these are extra large, but I love them. So here we are in the kitchen. How do you accessorize a kitchen? Well, usually I start with the island. I keep it simple, something that is a little bit busy, and, and then always the greenery, always the greenery, tall, and bring it all together in the middle, and then I go to the corner first. The corner, I always start with a plant in the corner and add that pop of color where you have that strong contrast again, where notice we'll bring the light woods back in with the pop of black and the white and a little touch of green throughout the whole entire house. Mm -hmm. Over here is a little simpler. Again, we've got the wood, the black, the white, and the green. Every element is all in one. And over on the other side, to keep it really simple, we went ahead with just a bowl of artichokes. Really fresh, really clean. Keep your eye moving around the house. I love it. I love that the color combo of the black, the white, the, um, light brown or tan, and the green, it's all it's all everywhere, so it looks right. very continuous mm -hmm. and like it all matches and goes together. Yeah. Oh, Great job. Thank you. So here we are in the family room. I think this could have been a little challenging, but you took it on like a champ. It was a really big area, huh? That was a problem maybe? Very yeah. large, a little large, and this is gonna be our entertainment area where we added a TV. So we always like to suggest a lot of people can sit here with a sectional mm -hmm. where the TV goes, and it's a beautiful, beautiful view. So we cut the room here with some chairs to look out at the beautiful view and for the conversation area. And then we still had all this area left over. Mm -hmm. There's really no mommy desk around here. We didn't do an office. So this was a great fit, really clean, clear. You hardly even notice how that desk is held up. But we, again, here's our wood, here's our black, here's our green. And it just fits in really beautifully into this room. About anybody could pull up a chair and take care of anything they wanted to do here. I especially love that you did the clear because your eye kind of looks through it. It didn't shrink the room at all. Not at your all. eye goes right to the wall and Thank yeah, you. it's still very functional. Great job. Here we are in the primary bedroom and it was a little challenging, I think, with the size of it. 
This home was built in 1964 and we didn't have any opportunity to make the room any bigger. So how did you deal with that when you're staging it? Well, we first have to pick our bed wall. You did a beautiful job with framing out the room with two mirrors. Black was perfect framing. Okay. And then the queen bed fit really, really perfect in here. A king would have come out another eight inches and would have cut off this walkway. So we just kept it really serene, very soft. So the headboard's soft, you barely notice it, the colors are soft, and the nightstand's white, pop up with wood again, and the, and the lamps, and a little bit of greenery again. I love and it. Yeah. Lots of walkway, lots of softness, comfort. Yeah. Serene little room. And the, all the space around the bed, I think, is really important when you're showing a home, because you want the home to feel big and not cramped and tight. As someone wants to come in here and put in their four poster, King bed later, I don't care. But when I'm selling a house, I definitely want it to feel big and open. All the light color, you know, definitely makes it feel bigger and more spacious than if you had black nightstand or something like that. Exactly. And I love that your headboard cut right with the window height so it doesn't look weird or awkward. Some people have big headboards that cut in front of the window. So great job. Oh, yeah, thank I love you. It. So in the primary bathroom, which we definitely enlarged, um, you can probably tell it's not the 1964 bathroom. We pushed into what used to be a courtyard to make it bigger, but it was a whole lot of plain white and light gray, which was not very warm and inviting. So tell us about what you did to kind of enliven the space. Well, I started with the feel of the floor. It really feels like you're at the beach and the waves are moving the water. It's a beautiful, beautiful choice on the floor. So once again, I just brought up the wood tones, a little bit in the frame, a little bit in the tray. And then over here in the ladder, it pops around. It's very serene. You just want to give the buyer an idea of what they can do in here. Obviously relax, have a glass of wine. The shower is beautiful. That's an amazing walk-in shower that you created. And I want to show the shampoo shelf has plenty of room, lots of room for lots of things in this room. The counters are giant. And lots of storage. Yeah. So my wood framed mirrors worked with what you were doing. So no, perfect. That good. Great choice. And I love that you accented the shampoo shelf because otherwise it would kind of disappear. So that reminds the buyers they have a space to put their shampoos and soaps and all those great things. Exactly. Thanks so much for coming along on our tour of this recent flip about to hit the market here in January, 2023. So excited. So Sherry, if people wanted to get in touch with you and hire you to either stage a house or do design for them, because she designs too, how would they reach you? Uh, my company is The Well Staged House and the phone number is 949-707-5000. It's an easy one. And our website is thewellstagehouse.com. Yeah, so make sure you comment any questions or what you liked or didn't like about my house. I'm open to it all. And definitely subscribe so you can get more great real estate and home tip videos. Thanks for watching.